to 31 days of spooktacular Halloween. <laughs> I'm having too much fun making these. Let's make these cute witch earrings. Grab your supplies and let's do it. Cut out two circles. And then make a hole in the center of those circles. These will be the base of the witch hat. Next, I'm going to make the top of the witch hat. Roll out the black clay until it comes to a point while keeping a hole in the center. If the hole is not big enough, just widen it a little bit. Attach the top and bottom with a little bacon bond. Making the legs is a breeze. Roll out the clay until it is very thin, cut off two equal lengths, and then twist them together. I'm rolling out the legs, barely using any pressure. You want to keep them the same length, but make it so that the edges are seamless. The one on the right is after I rolled it, the one on the left is before, they're the same length, the one on the right is seamless. To make the feet, curve it up and then curve it down. Now add in your eye hooks. I would recommend pre-poking the hole and make sure it is flat before you do so. Push the stick pin through the center of the hat. Do it slowly so that if you feel that the stick pin is coming out the side, you can pull it back and push it back in so that it comes out the center. Smooth out the top so that it comes to a point once more. I'm going to decorate the hat using a little bit of orange and yellow clay. Get creative when decorating your hat. I'm going to make a candy corn jewel for the top of my hat. Now bake your legs and your hat. Glue in the eye hooks for the legs. Resin your pieces. When assembling your earrings, make sure you attach the legs before you do anything to the top of the hat. Once you have attached the legs, make sure you pull the stick pin all the way up so that the legs are flush against the bottom of the hat. Cut off the excess of the stick pin before bending it to make the eye hook. And my, what pretty earrings you have. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>